<laughs> good morning, good morning, good morning, guys. Welcome back, welcome back to my channel. I woke up today in just the most awesome mood. Do just a chit chat with you guys. A cup of coffee with Nene. I guess that's what we'll call this type of vlogs when I'm just sitting and chatting with you guys. I am loving my bedroom guys like it is so peaceful so serene and just i don't know it just give me such comfort like my bedding that i chose awesome really you know to call this material but it's the softest thing like yeah i'm, I'm really feeling my bedding also um for you guys who um, I guess are new to my channel, I don't know if you got a chance to see my video where I re um, I DIY my furniture. I've had this furniture for quite a while now, and I'm like looking for some new furniture, but I just don't want no anything. So I'm not in a hurry to just grab. I just feel like when I see it. I'll see it and I'll get it and you know then I'll have my dream bedroom whatever grabs me that's gonna be my dream bedroom but as of right now this works but I had got a little overwhelmed a little tired of the blue um I did a DIY of it it was like a brownish color no it was black I think it was a blackish color it's been a while and I painted the furniture blue and for a while there, it was really nice. I enjoyed it. It reminded me so much of the beach. Um, if you ever been in those vacation beach homes, some things like, they always have a piece of furniture that's some type of blue. Different shades of all shades. Just, it depends on their decor, but most of the time, it's going to incorporate some blue. So that just made me feel more and more comfortable as if I was on the beach waking up um, on the beach one morning and all I, all I was missing was my palm trees, you know? So that was nice, but I got a little tired of it. I guess I, guess I outgrowed that. Um, my interest left the building. So um, I painted it this calming, gracial color and I changed the knobs to... Um, I. Um, spray painted those to a um, nickel brush um, blackish color oh, it's just nice it's, it's so nice and it just it's really pleasing to my eyes like to wake up and you're still in this peaceful mood it just keeps putting me at that peaceful state so I love the way that turned out also my pillows that I chose for the bed um, I am absolutely in love with those. I don't know if you guys really noticed what I did with the three pillows. They are not the same. They are the same um, designer, like the same person put those pillows out, but they all had different um, design on the front of them. So I have three different designs because I really could not choose which design I wanted. And I was like, but I like all three so I'm gonna put all three on my bed and it turned out very pretty so I really do like that also but I put up a video um, on me getting prepared for my bedroom like I was buying each piece along the way I you know so I could do it all at one time when I brought the video so that's what I did so you'll see some of the items that you've already seen in my bedroom on my home good haul you'll see some of the items that I picked that I purchased um, throughout the home or whatever like my mason uh, pocket jar I don't know what they call those things guys my you know just the pretty glass jars I had got a um, really nice size one that had the um in it with the um, starfish I think that is in it yeah and I set that on my dresser, which if you check out my video um, of my bedroom makeover, you'll see that um, in the video as well. I forgot to do a haul where I come home, talk to you guys. I show you guys the things that I purchased um, because I did it so sparingly. Like, it just depends on if I saw it. I grabbed it. Like, I got um, another set of my pillows, the um, gray ones that are like a uh, rectangle shape um, I got times from the other pillows so it's like it was hard for me to do an actual haul with you guys because I kind of like just got pieces here and there so um, some of those items on that home good shop with me video is the items that I have in my bedroom that I showed on my 
bedroom makeover. But in, or you guys got on YouTube and um, you had a blessing where it sparked really quick and you grew really fast. For me right now, it's a slow um, roll, but I'm grateful for my slow roll. I still notice the growth every day. Um, and I just want to tell you guys, I appreciate you. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. This has been so much fun. I'm having so much fun doing this. Um, these vlogs for you guys. Um, also, it is keeping me in line. I am actually, well, I've been this way my whole life, but I'm actually more organized now. Um, I've been watching some of you girls on YouTube, and you've been showing how you can um, save space and how you can organize it to where it's very chic, girly, cute, or just practical but makes sense. It's been working around my home, and I'm, I'm loving that. I'm loving that. Also, the clean with me's. I mean, my house is spotless. Okay? Spotless. You can eat off the floor. You can wallow on the floor. You can do whatever. This house is spotless. From the window sills, from the ceiling fans to the baseboards. Like, I am, I have been cleaning my tail off. Which, I've always been a clean person. But I clean more now so that I can, you know, bring content to you guys. Which I enjoy. So, and it's also very um relaxing i don't know if a lot of you guys find cleaning relaxing but it is for me i i've <laughs> i have come a long way and i appreciate you guys thank you so much and just thank you guys so much thank you so much um i am growing thanks to you guys and i appreciate it so yeah that's that um i don't know what i'm actually doing this weekend i'm looking forward to date night with my hubby um we actually went um out the other day we went to ted's once some grill um texas steak grill house or whatever it was actually decent um i was a little disappointed in the taste of the <laughs> it wasn't that good like ted's that's that restaurant that got that buffalo yeah um, you go there, I just feel like you have to put your seasonings in your purse and take it in with you so that you can dib and dab with your food to make it pleasant to your taste buds because it was not to mine. Okay? And my husband, he had the bison um, for the first time, the bison meat. Um, he said it tastes like just real wild, wild game type, gaming type meat. But anyway, he ate it. He said it was okay. Um... Just still not his preference, but overall, it still gets a good rating because he enjoyed it. Um, I should have tasted. I didn't because I was over it. When I tasted my food, I was just, I didn't see no reason to go any further. And he was like, it's okay. Most people, when they say it's okay, that means just stay away. It's, it's, it's not all that. So, yeah. I hope I'm not sitting up and showing the fact that my hair is not done. My face is not done. Mm -hmm. I like this color, guys, that I've put on my nails. It's um, I, get, I did this for fall. I wanted to try something different. I never wear dark colors. And I like it against my skin. My skin tone. I did not know that this color looked right on me. I, years ago, when I was younger, growing up, I ran across some dark polish. I put it on. I didn't like it at all. Like, it was the ugliest thing to me. So, I just stayed in the lines of the pinks and the some light reds, fuchsia colors, stuff like that. Um, bright colors. Like, I guess pretty much summer sun palette type of colors. That's what um I was more drawn to. And that's what I wore. It didn't matter what season it was. So, this is my first time trying to step outside of the box step outside my comfort zone and I actually like it. I've been getting so many compliments on my nails. So I might try something else after this that's on the in the fall palettes that they have um that you see the girls are wearing lately. So yeah. I am going to this is what I want to do before Christmas guys like um leading up to the holiday. I want to literally Go back into my kitchen, which I love my kitchen, guys. You know, some of you ladies like you, your your kitchen's pretty much um, bare. And when I say bare, where you just only have, I mean, you only have like a accent piece 
here or there, not really like a lot on top of the cabinets or on the counters or or even your tables. They're very minimized, you know, minimalist. So I am actually liking that. Never thought I would say that, but I'm actually liking it. And it's also giving me more of a peaceful vibe. Um, the less things around me, I'm finding myself less anxious. So I want to um, try to do that in my kitchen. I want to like change the whole color scheme. Or if I keep the colors, the color scheme. Steam. I cannot talk. If I keep the color scheme, I want to um, minimize it to where it's a pop of color here or there. I want to neutralize it where it's neutral, um, neutral color palette. And um, I want to kind of share and she's so fabulous. I bling it a little bit, just a little bit. Um, I think I'll enjoy my kitchen more. I love it now, but I think I enjoy it more. I'm kind of getting over the farmhouse um, country feel in there. I kind of want to make it, I want to come out of the farm. I want to um, step into just the modern, clean lines, very minimalist, cool colored kitchen. I know that's a lot to take in, it was a lot for me <laughs> because this is going to be a challenge for me because every item, every little whatnot that I have around my home, it means something to me. And I would keep things, hold on to them and try to incorporate them somewhere in the house. Just keep moving. I just shift stuff around kind of. And I think it's time for me to departure with a lot of it. Like, just accept that it's time to move on. It's time to let some things go. So you're going to see some changes throughout downstairs. I'm used to open floor plans. And when I moved to Atlanta, I moved into this townhome, these condo townhome type um, community. And it's new to me. I've never uh, lived in anything like this before. I've always had a single home you know, a single family home um, with the backyards, the porches, the ups and downstairs, you know, just the normal house. And um, they always had an open floor plan. So this is a challenge for me as well because um, everything is kind of chopped up and there's a wall kind of dividing everything up instead of it being open. It's, it's all divided. So, you know, I'm not used to that. I'm not really feeling that, but that's what I'm doing right now because make sure when I pick a home, it's an area that I like, so I had to first figure that out. Um, for two, price point, I wanted that. I wanted to be comfortable with that, so we're figuring that out. So there's a lot of things that go into moving and getting into a home. You don't want to move next door to a crazy person or, or something that you're not going to be able to deal with or someone who's really nasty and their area outside is so disgusting. It makes your whole block look nasty type of thing. So, or just a lot of traffic or it's a lot of things you need to look at, um, before you just move. Even me, I look at the trees and I'm, I'm gonna make, I'm, I'm gonna explain myself. I look at the trees because those fall. Some of them fall. I've seen them on top of houses. I've seen them on top of cars. So when I be looking for a place that I want to say I'm going to be staying at, less trees, the better. Like, I, I don't know. that It kind of creeps me out because I, if the wind blew too hard, I would start panicking thinking the tree finna fall. So anyway, that's anyway. Um, long story short, that's what, um, I'm living in now is a town home and it's just very challenging. So if I change one room, I got to change the whole floor. Like that's just how I feel. I'm so used to everything being open. So everything kind of the color scheme and everything, the design, you know, that I'm going with, it kind of flows through all of it. Now that it's chopped up, it's kind of like I can kind of de design each room accordingly to what I want the room to be like. But I'm not um, really liking that because it's just too many colors. It's too many different design um, elements around this making me anxious. So I just want to go with one palette 
through the bottom even though it's chopped up and see how that looks calm it down a little bit take some of the bold pieces out and just use well take out some so much of the small pieces and just use like state statement pieces that's what i mean so i guess that's what i would do as far as my downstairs is concerned with my kitchen it's just time to let some stuff go ladies i got to let some stuff go um, ladies and guys, because I know it's some guys that be on my channel as well. And you guys, I appreciate you as well. Like, you know, um, male or female, just supporting my channel. I appreciate you guys. So that's why I say the saying you guys, because I'm talking about you as a whole. All of you. All of you guys as a whole. Male, female, whatever, you know, all of you. So um, I, even my nieces, I have... Um, younger um, people on my channel as well, my little nieces and nephews, and I, I even appreciate them. They watch, you know. The, my sister was like, um, Nene, do you know I could be in the house and I just hear your voice? And I started thinking my sister has come back to Ohio because that's where um, my sister is right now in Ohio. And she was like, I'll go look in and see. I thought you done walked in the door, and it's just one of them watching your vlogs. So, um, I laughed and that warmed my heart to know that they just watch me just to watch me. Knowing Auntie Channel probably is boring because they're a little bitty kids. You know, they're young and, you know, you wouldn't think they would be too interested. But they don't get to see me on a daily basis, like, flush to flush. So, um, they watch me on YouTube. And that's another thing makes me, you know, inspired me to get on there a little bit more. Just so they can see me and feel connected to their TT. So, yeah, I found the kick out of that. I laughed when they when my sister told me that that's what they do. And she just hear my voice around the house all the time. So, that was a nice, warm feeling that that gave me. So, I appreciate my babies as well. So, yeah, I guess I'm going to jump off here and get ready to start my day. But I just wanted to come on here and do a little chit-chat with you guys, a little catching up with you guys, and, um, you know, any comments, just leave them down below. I will see them. I love to communicate with, back and forth with you guys. Um, that's just how I am. I'm a talkative person, and um, there's a lot of, that I be having or questions that I be wanting to ask sometimes, and I haven't lately, but, I mean, you know, hey, just like... Um, with the kitchen thing, if you guys any have any idea color scheme wise or suggestions of how to modernize my modernize my kitchen from the farmhouse to something more classy and elegant, um, blingy like for me, um, that would be great. I would like to see those comments as well. But um, I guess I'm gonna sign off here. And until next time, this was just a cup of coffee with Nene or. Whatever you guys was drinking, I enjoyed it and until the next time, bye.